Nitrogen Chemicals, NCZ, is wholly owned by the Industrial Development Corporation. It is located about 40 kilometers south of Lusaka. It is here that government's vision of reviving industries, manufacturing, value addition, and food security is being actualized. Now, I use the word revived because when NCZ was commissioned in 1970, it was the anchor industry here in Kafue. I started work on 1st uh, March 1990. There were various products that were being produced. We had uh, vessel fertilizer, which is uh, the traditional decompound. We also had uh, top dressing in form of uh, ammonium nitrate. We were also producing uh, uh, ammonium nitrate explosive grade for the mines. And uh, there were many other uh, um, uh, products such as sulfuric acid. We are also producing nitric acid and many, many, many other, other products. The town was thriving as it created jobs and business opportunities for the local people and surrounding communities. However, due to lack of funding or recapitalization, the plant began to deteriorate. Soon, some production lines were either shut down or decommissioned. We had, uh, for instance, the sulfuric acid plant, and then uh, we had the ammonium nitrate plant, then we had also nitric acid plant and uh, several other plants like the ammonia plant. So with the shutting of that ammonia plant, it meant that we needed to start you know, importing uh, this product from South Africa, it became expensive, and over time also the plant started deteriorating. Now, the last expansion of the plant was in 1983. With time, NCZ could not effectively compete with the private sector in the supply of blended fertilizer. Fast forward to today, NCZ has acquired, installed, and will soon operationalize this brand new state-of-the-art plant that will not only produce decompound, but also blended fertilizers that are soil and crop specific. Isoka is one town which has been uh, verified to have deposits of phosphates, which are a key ingredient in our compound D um, our fertilizer. What that means is that um, the standard 10 2010 may not necessarily be the most ideal. It may be wasteful in the sense that the phosphate composite of the fertilizer is already there, or at least to a large extent. So then we need to formulate for that soil type um, a, a composition which would just be enough phosphate to top up on the existing. Otherwise, we'll be giving too much uh, phosphate uh, to, the, to the soil. It's the same with Petauke, and, and the same goes for various other areas which may have not been uh, tested. There's a program by government to do soil mapping for the whole country, and therefore this blending uh, plant has just come in at the right time. As Nitrogen Chemicals of Zambia Limited, we are ready to reach every district with our superior uh, compound D fertilizer and the blended fertilizers that are going to be uh, produced with the two new equipment. News about the new blending plant has excited farmers like Mr. Sakala of Kafue who can't wait to try the new blended fertilizer. We are very happy as farmers because uh, the, uh, the NCZ fertilizer with the new plant that is coming, they produce fertilizer that is suitable for our soils. For the farmers, let's go NCZ way and the quality of the fertilizer of NCZ, you can see from the plants that I have. Look at the shoots, the way they are looking. These shoots indicate that even the cop that will come out of here, it will be worth to talk about. And the ones I go to the market will be very competitive. The first bag that will be produced from the company, let it come to my farm and I'm willing to buy the first bag so that I test the branded fertilizer. Currently, there are 4 million farmers in Zambia made up of small, medium and large or commercial farmers all with a combined need of decompound of 450,000 metric tons or 500,000 metric tons if you add winter and early maturing maize. What this plant means is that the combined total of the new and the old plant will be 502,000 metric tons or well over 10 million bags of 50 kg decompound. Now that is well over the national demand. With this development, this new plant would definitely contribute towards government's vision of 1011 by 2031. That is 10 million metric tons of maize, 1 million metric tons of soya, and 1 million metric tons of wheat, thereby guaranteeing food security. Now that is significant.